So I think shorter term, uh, as you mentioned, we may be getting a little bit, you know, I, I guess it's, it's probably easy to say a bit frothy when you, we, we kind of took a look at the, all of the, I guess, post-bear markets uh, after World War II. And what you saw was, not unsurprisingly, in the one year after, uh, it was typically extremely strong markets, which is what we saw during this one, right? We got 75% up, essentially. We've, you know, not long ago switched into the second year after uh, the bear market. Typically, it actually is still a positive market, uh, except it's not nearly as good. You probably are only typically average up about 12%. As you know, we're up already around 10 uh, this year. So, and then the other interesting thing I think is maybe more important uh, is you tend to see more volatility. So the, the intra-year declines tend to be higher in that year. So uh, that's why yeah. I think you're right on in saying it, it's probably wise uh, to buckle up a bit. Yeah, I just feel like we're kind of searching for a main focus. I mean, obviously we know what it was the last year. Then it became kind of bond yields and this huge steepening of the yield curve and what that does to growth. We've called it the 3R trade bill, sort of the rotation, recovery, and reflation. You know, we kind of wonder, going into the summer, traditionally a slower time for equity volumes, everybody's focused on cryptos anyway, I guess, what the main thing to watch is. Is it the Fed? Is it still COVID? What do you think it is, Bill? I mean, I think it's still because uh, the Fed's not going to do anything. So uh, I'm going to say I, I, I kind of set them to the side for now. Um, I, I think it is continue to watch the co COVID, how much mobility. You know, that being said, I mean, I know you talk about it a lot. Uh, people are out and about um, kind of, I'll say, no matter what, in one sense at this point. Um, so I do think. The thing to watch in the end is always earnings. And I mean, that's the, the really good story, obviously, that we're in uh, this quarter. And I think that will continue because the economy, at least for 2021, looks awful good. Uh, so I think at least, although I told the story of, of worrying a bit about some more uh, bumpiness at the end, the good news is you, I think you're going to have nice support from earnings. Yeah, important point. And by the way, thank you for that, Bill. By the way, if you live in D.C. or New York, which, you know, sort of are the capitals of politics and the media, you still think everybody's kind of locked down. The rest of the country is thinking, what, what are you guys doing back east? That said, the reason I bring that up, Bill, is that I wonder if there is, and we've talked about this over the last couple of months, if there is a big underlying economic strength that we simply do not highlight enough. I get that tens of millions of people got destroyed in the beginning of the pandemic, but the unemployment rate is basically where it was in 2014. Benefits are pretty generous, thankfully, for most of those who have lost their jobs. And about, I don't know, eight of 10 major industries are actually doing better than they were pre-pandemic. I just wonder if the underlying foundation of the economy never took that sledgehammer hit that we sort of imagined it would because the pandemic. I don't know about you, Bill. <clears throat> excuse me. All of us seem to be working more than we used to. Yeah, I think you're right in that we've been talking about here that I do think we're up for a pretty, not pretty, a very strong recovery because of exactly what you said. Now, again, not to, you can't set aside that a lot of people suffered during COVID, but the good news is you've got a lot of cash out there. You, you have, frankly, a lot of demand. So, I mean, you know, things we're seeing around here is signs of people needing, you know, people for restaurants, uh, you know, any of the service industries, frankly, are probably having trouble getting people. Uh, and that's maybe costing them business right now, which is kind of a, a shocking turn of events, right? Like that's, uh, um, that's good. I was like, it's good news um, in the long run anyway. Yeah. Quickly, where's, where's value? Where are you putting your clients' money right now, Bill? Yeah, I think I still like the banks. I think that's a really good spot. You know, some guard against higher rates, too. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.